Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. <coughs> and there's a cord. Okay, got my foot untangled. The topic for today is newfound inspiration what in the world do I mean I literally mean that the word inspiration is key my work is to inspire others to in other words it's a battle cry Ooh, I like that yeah battle cry and the purpose is to rally the other people on the same uh, spiritual path or to, you know, say, hey, do not, do not <sighs> ignore the haters, ignore the trolls, ignore the drama cut that out of your life and that is the core function for any person be it if they are spiritual or if they are not you could be a writer and you have trolls who put you down and you then believe the in the trolls rather than yourself it could also happen when... Okay, I just... Example. <coughs> I just joined YouTube. Let me create videos that I want to make. And But then you get discouraged when you're not getting the, the traffic that you thought you were going to get. Meaning... In your head, you want a hundred thousand subscribers, but you only have ten, and it's been a year. And you're freaking out, like, oh my god, it's not worth it to continue, I can't go on, and you're losing hope, you're losing faith in yourself. You have stopped believing in yourself. I do apologize for that sun glow. I cannot do anything about that, but I could try to crop, crop it out. Uh, is it the right or left? I have 140. No. I forgot my when I do that, it, okay, that should be enough. I'll just make it a zero. Eh, better. The, uh, for, for my work, th what I do is to help others, inspire them, rally them, battle cry, uplift their spirits, whatever the case is, may be. How you view me, that is up to you how you see it, but for me it is to ultimately push you forward, uplift you, reminding you you got this, reminding you of your strength, your power, your magic, your light, whatever that something is, I planted the seeds. What you do with that is up to you. For the most part, for me, it is... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, I'm trying to think, but it's not coming to me. I think I... No. No, that's not it either. 
Okay, I know I've seen this on YouTube before, but I, I cannot think of the term. Un uh, align. Alignment. That's the term. When you align with someone, you accept them for who they are, what they say. You align with them. Because a part of you is also on that same level, you agree with it. You might not see it in the same exact way, but you align with it. Therefore, the community that I have made, the family that I have made, they all align with me. They might not agree with everything, and I know they do not see the same thing I do in the same exact way. Therefore, they align with me to a, a degree, but ultimately that's on their part. I do not force anything. They do it on their own power to write me, to comment, to like, whatever it is. And that's what this life is, to find people who you align with, but ultimately to put the haters behind us, to put the drama behind us. Okay, is OBS like frames are dropping because I swear to God, it feels like it is. I don't think so, but uh, it's probably because I have Ark in the background while doing this. Mm. But yeah, people will become your friend because they align with you. However, if they backstab you, then they weren't your friend. I've had my show of backstabbers, liars, cons, and fakes. And I let them go. Why? That is their decision to stab me and to leave my life. I did not go after them to beg them to stay. However, I did do that with one person. However, I found out his creating his own reality, he wanted me to chase him. That was not my reality, that was his. And so technically that doesn't really count because if I was in the right mind, I would have let him go many years ago rather than drag it out for the five years or whatever, how many it was. I would have let him go a long time ago rather than dragging it out for that long. 2020, he is gone. No will to be found. And I hope he stays gone because I learned he was creating a false image of me. And after that, I was like, you know what? It's not worth it anymore to continue this. He is always making something up that is not even real. When I tried to change his mind, it worked for a little bit, but he went back to his first initial thought, even though it was all made up and was wrong. But I believe he did that to make me stop, to make him stop, uh, for us to never see each other again, to make our cycle end. Because I kept joking that he was glued to me because I don't know, it, it was a weird thing. 
But people like that, they don't deserve our friendship, and they do not align with us. May I? At first, I did align with him, but as time went on, I have seen things from him that I did not agree with, and we went our separate ways. But he also did not like the fact that I was becoming this powerful entity, this divine goddess, creating my own power, creating my own reality, helping others, inspiring others, and he wanted no part of that. And he actually told me that once, and I was I blew a gasket. Like, you got to be kidding me. Like you literally hate what I am becoming, and I just could not stay in that situation any longer. I got out. Then he reappears as a changed leaf, only for me to find out that nope, he was back at it again. Same story, different color. You cannot change your stripes. And that is actually true. You cannot change what you are. You cannot change your soul. You are what you are. Meaning, you cannot change a demon into a innocent person. They will never be innocent. They hurt. They harmed, they killed. You cannot change its color. You cannot change its stripes. You are only waking up and remembering what you are, because being human, this is not our first skin. This is not our first body. We're just here passing through, learning or teaching whatever we came here to do. We do it, but this is not our first life. And for me, I had my ups and downs. I continue to evolve. And I still have my off days. I still have my bad days, and I have my epic days. It. I I follow with the water. You cannot force things. Things happen for a reason. You just have to listen to what your body needs. But ultimately, you have to cut yourself. From the negativity, and I just pass messages to you. That is what I am here to do. And speaking of messages, I woke up from sleep, and I was just laying in bed, resting my eyes, ready, trying to get. On my feet before I actually do, and I'm gonna actually shut off this game real quick because I think it is、uh, stolen OBS. I just can't take that anymore. Hopefully, my game did save, but、I'm, I don't care. End task because it's ridiculous. Okay. Okay, my CPU is kind of getting okay. The message stopped. Okay, cause that was just driving me nuts. Um. Oh,、uh, that's because I never actually did my second screen. That helps. Okay. What was I? Woke up from bed. 
was us laying there tossed over trying to fall asleep again or to be able to stand on my feet and a message entered me once again from my angels and it also corresponds back to the other methods when I was talking about uh, the Archangel Michael and his methods, his energy flowing through me. And um, let me just, I'm actually getting hot. He basically had another matches for me, but at that time I was not able to record any of it, but it left the impression of, for this video, to, for me to inspire others, rally in them, to help me find the others of the same uh, soul seed, if you will, meaning do you also agree with some of the things I have been saying? Do you align with me, my energy? And if you do, that is why I put my energy out there to find you, whoever that is, be it in the future or current or the past. Whenever you find my messages, And uh, I know in the, the vision, um, this time, it was, I keep wanting to say, you know, the big Jumbotron TVs that are out there in the world, be it uh, Tokyo or NYC, well, I keep wanting to, to see or to say that, back up. In the vision, I see a people down below a giant screen, meaning, uh, like I said, like the Jumbotrons, and breaking news comes on the air, and it's on, like everywhere, on every TV, and everywhere. I mean, and the match is, is always about the same, like, uh, people of Earth, it is time to something, something, something. Um, but this time the message was, uh, people of light, it is time to wake up, reclaim what is yours, reclaim your power, reclaim your soul wisdom, your soul knowledge, remember who you once was, remember what you are. Beings of light, it is time to rise up, to evolve back into 5D. And that is the, the theme, even in my, my previous vision, and then it followed me two days later into this video as well. Because yesterday, or for two days, I did not record any spirit vlogging whatsoever. And one day, I was just completely out of it. You attract anything. You can attract your tribe, you can attract haters, and I've had both. One person thought we were from a tribe, she thought I was her soul sister, but turns out, for whatever reason, she cut me off, blocked me, and without a word, just blocked me and made her friend block me as well. I. To this day, have no idea why that happened, and I know they were not of my tribe because they did that, and 
that's a constant theme. I find people, or they find me, and we hang out for a little bit, and then they go fake, or I forget to uh, contact them or something, and to I never hear from them ever again. It has happened. I tend to be forgetful to message back, and I never hear from them again after I do respond back. So that's kind of funny. But then again, it could just mean I evolved to say, you know what, this is not working, I am going to cut you off because there was something I don't like. Or we never really clicked, um, your energy and mine don't match well. It's hard to describe because I really don't know why that happens or why I run into it. It just happens. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the theme lately is find your tribe, align with the right people, St uh, the stars will align, leave the toxic people behind, and for me to ultimately pass these messages into the world to whoever finds it, uh, hopefully it will be positive instead of, oh my god, you're a crazy lunatic who is talking out the last, you don't know what you're talking about, because I have had that comment before. You're on drugs. You're high. You're on drugs. Like, no. I'm on 5D. You're on 3D. That's why you say I'm a crazy loony who is on drugs. On I was. No, they never actually did say that yet. They just said, Am I on drugs? One person said, Am I high? Another person in my mind. One of these days, someone will say, Hey, are you on acid? <laughs> that has not happened yet. Not yet, but yeah, it, it's just funny. Uh, I really need to get more of these uh, commentary on my ARC videos. Uh, meaning, extract this audio file, pop this onto my ARC video, and done. But that is for another project, and my encoder is still sucks. <laughs> I hate my computer, I, I swear. Until we meet again.